Hello, brothers and sisters, this is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest prophetic word given to Miss Sophie. This word was posted on May 30th of 2019, and the title is, What is on the Father's Heart for His Children? I was asking if he had anything he would like to say and share, and then he gave me this. My daughter, write these words down. Children, as you continue to follow man's ways, you are drifting further away from me. You need to think on these things. Do not let the lures of life pull on your flesh. This is not the time to go back into the lusts of the world, but should be a time of getting closer to me and putting aside all other. You children must remain sober and vigilant, for the enemy is always on the prowl, looking for whom he may devour. Trust me, children, do not let your guard down. He comes upon you suddenly, yet uses his charm and subtlety to bring great gifts to you. Other times he will attack hard and fierce, but this is done more often than not to those who war against him, those who stand up and fight. The atmosphere has changed. There are many now experiencing the judgments in their towns and cities as I allow it. Are you my seasoned followers who live in these areas? Are you out there offering assistance, speaking to them of the importance of repentance? Souls have been spared, for I hear the prayers of my children, and I have been extending mercy. Does anyone see this, or have you turned a blind eye to it? I have extended my hand to so many, yet they walk away. My arm is not too short to save, and I desire the salvation of souls, and that you desire to be used by me. There are many in need of my word, my truth. Extend it to them. Show them the way to me in their broken state. Houses, material possessions are going. Weather will continue to get worse. Food will become very scarce. With floods come diseases. Many will lose everything, including their lives, soon. There is a war raging in your nation. They have much more up their sleeve to take all down. You have been blinded by the soothsayers, saying all is well or will be well again. You have given your devotion and ear to your King Cyrus, yet he is not a king looking out for his people. He is a king that serves the elitists and globalists. Children, have you not yet awakened to all the lies and deception? You are fed with false hope. Your interests mean nothing to them. They feed you with just enough jargon of twisted information to make themselves look like they are golden in your eyes and to keep you into believing they are for you. Children, wake up. War is coming. War on the streets. Civil war is coming economic collapse, devastations, martial law, incarceration in internment camps, and more. All these have been planned long before some of you were ever born. War makes them richer, while all the rest become poorer and poorer. I am was the one that raised America up from infancy, and she has betrayed me, spit on my good graces towards her. She has allowed every foul, abominable, wicked way to become her mainstay. She has robbed the innocent of life. She has murdered my little ones on altars to their Molech. She has robbed the poor, the widow, the widower, she has robbed children of a proper education, instilling indoctrination in its place. 
She has stolen from me, robbed the house of God, profaned my sanctuaries, allowed what is unholy to mix with the holy. Can oil and water mix? No, what once was considered holy is no longer. Church leaders and those who go to them and call themselves Christian do not walk in holiness. How many lukewarm children look no different than the world, partaking of the filth, are in fornication, in adulteries, drinking, doing drugs, partaking in all forms of witchcraft and rebellion, defiling their bodies which was to be my holy temple. How many of you are on bended knee in fear and trembling that one day you will stand before me and be judged? Very few, yet you expect the rewards of being in my holy city. You will not enter in, for your garments are stained and dirty. Let us eat, drink, and be merry. This is how you live with no thought to where your eternal home will be. Let me tell you, children, it will not be with me. Everlasting life will escape you and hell will claim you. Your choices and how you live today are the deciding factors of where you will spend eternity. You choose the way of the world. No daily repentance, no turning away from sin. And so be it then. You choose whom you want to be with you forever, and it was not your heavenly Father. You cannot simply live as you wish without being forgiven because you believe you said a few lines years ago, so all is well for you. This is a lie straight from the pulpits of the wolves in sheep's clothing, taking their flock down to hell with them. A one-time confession many years ago does not guarantee your salvation. This walk is daily. Repentance is daily. Changing your ways is ongoing. This is a progression and once saved, always saved, is a lie straight from the commander-in-chief of hell, Satan himself. Read the word and you would know this. Your Savior is Yahushua, and he is the way, the truth, and the life. And without him, none can come to the Father. If you walk away and live for the world as the world you will forfeit your salvation if you do not turn back and repent. To those who reject and refuse accepting him as King of Kings, your Messiah, then you walk away from your inheritance. I speak this to those who have never yet truly repented. You children then have made your beds and you will lie in them and reap what you have sown. Do you not understand the importance of this? You decide whose side you are on. Those who choose my son come home. Those who rebel and refuse have chosen Satan to be their father for all eternity. As the minutes and hours go by, so do your lives. Make each minute, each hour count. Draw close to me. Stop hiding and running a million miles in the wrong direction. Confess your sins to me only. I can hear you wherever you are. Come from a place of your broken heart. Cry out. Let me in. I am more than willing to forgive you if you will just let it go. I do not desire anyone to perish. Many tears have been shed over those lost forever. This world is fading away, and only I remain. 
get used to it for this nation soon will no longer be recognizable. My daughter, this is what is on my heart for you to share with all. I love you, children. El Shaddai. And that is the end of the message. There are several scriptures that go with this word. I'm going to post the link in the comment section. I will pin it there for all those who want to have a copy. Please, if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, call on him today. And please come before him with a contrite heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins and repent. And please do this daily. Come to him every single day and ask him to wash you of all unrighteousness and to even bring to your mind if there's anything that you need to personally confess. He will bring it to our memory. And he is gentle when he does remind us of something that we need to confess and repent for. Jesus loves us all so very much. Please, if anyone is hearing this, just know how much Jesus loves you. And all you have to do is ask him into your heart and see for yourself. He will reveal himself to you. You all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.